Finally, I managed to do it. I can just tell you, by the way, that that took me at least 50 tries. That's one of the hardest bosses I've ever done. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the hardest thing I've done ever. But I did manage it. I'm afraid I wasn't... Because it was taking me so many times, I didn't get to record the entire thing. But I caught the end as it flashed, and I healed up, so hopefully that's a proof that I uh, managed to do it. As Adol finally finishes up and defeats the dark fact, light begins to shine at the top of the tower. Nothing but his cloak remains, which in some ways is concerning, because where's the body? Without a dead body, is this really a victory? Adol doesn't know. He takes a few moments to get his bearings, and I'm going to save it in another file. And he, uh, he uh, in investigates what might Oh, there it is. The, the, the cloak has the last book of yeast. Alright. Okay, so... Well, I need the, um... Put on the monocle. And uh, then... And then read the last book of yeast. Here we go. Adol slowly opens the final one. The Book of Fact. Suddenly, in the new light of the rising sun, his siege stopped. Wherefore it happened, no one knows, even now. But there was rejoicing, for it meant the end of our suffering, to ensure that he should never return. We have sealed away the power of Yis. It lies within the six books, and will be given to one who collects them all, so that he may become a guide and lead us to peace. But heed, ye who read these words, those who use the powers of demons shall one day be consumed by them. The prosperity held within is a lie. It is he who leads that shapes the form of evil. All that is, jewel and adamant alike, is a treasure of ease, as given us by our merciful goddesses. Jewel and adamant alike, uh, the treasures of ease, consumed. Prosperity is a lie. Rejoicement, suffering, peace. These are some of the words that stick out to Adol. The highlights of the peace. But the name is strange. What is a fact, truly? Is it merely something one agrees upon, or is it unadulterated truth? Something one cannot possibly deny no matter what and who they are. But let's just see. As Adol holds all six books aloft, a powerful white light blinds him, and serenity overtakes him. The morning sun began to rise. Gradually, the sky brightened, and the tower's outline began to shimmer like a mirage. As if freed from captivity, birds began to sing, and the demons dissolved into air. 
Adel felt the weight of a long journey lift from his heart. The world was at peace. It was as though the historic bounty of his had been laid before him to fill his eyes and soul. As the things written in the books vanished, one by one, the shapers of the goddesses began to materialize. Though their faces were unfamiliar, Adal felt in some way that he had always known them. As he looked down upon the earth, he could see Jeva's house, quiet and humble. He wondered if Fina's memory had come back. He decided that when he returned, he would immediately tell her of all that he had seen. A dazzling light, seemingly from all sides at once, bathed Adol in radiance. He felt certain that it must be wishing him peace and good fortune. And so, Adol began a new journey. Now, if the resolution on this video is a bit low, it's because I changed it so that I could easily defeat Dark Fact as easily as possible, because it was really hard with the full screen. So I apologize for that. If it doesn't end it that way, oh well, you know, no harm, no done. No harm, no foul. But my thoughts on the game of of use one is that the bosses are certainly quite challenging. I don't think I have defeated any of them on my first try, except for maybe two of them. Or well, maybe only one. I think it, the only one that I defeated on my first try was the um, the the second one, the one that was like a dragon that swirled around the room. I think that was the only one I defeated on my first try. So the bosses were most certainly difficult, especially the last boss. I wasn't able to record it because just the sheer amount of tries I did would have made the video extremely long. There were several times when I was one hit away from defeating him. I think that happened at least three times, spread over the 50 tries, and it was quite frustrating, to be honest. But, overall, I think I really only worked on Dark Fact for about two hours. So I guess, I don't know what the reputation of that last boss is, but hopefully that's the moderate, semi-good time frame that people have about beating the game. Hopefully. I don't know. I wonder what that says about my skills uh, in this respect. But in any case... Um, the, the part where you get the treasure key was a little bit um, frustrating because the chest looked like it was open, but as I reflect upon it, I think it was like that to indicate that the chest was not locked. The problem is that it wasn't consistent, is that other chests that weren't locked didn't look like that either. So it was really... so I skipped over it so many times because I thought I had opened it already since, you know, I don't have the perfect memory that I used to. I did, however, end up memorizing the entire dungeons I went through with this game. It does make it fairly easy to remember where everything is eventually, like, you should go through it constantly. So it's nice that way. You don't need a graph paper, you don't need to draw the maps. You know, after a while, you're just gonna understand where you need to go and what to do. Even the and the last tower, I must say, was quite good as a dungeon itself. As just a as a series of events, specifically the characters, like Dogi is really memorable. Um and and the doctor and and Seba and all of that. Very memorable for me. Um hopefully the designers realize how memorable that part of the game is and those characters come back more than some of the other more forgettable characters are because the pacing of the game is slightly front-loaded in the sense that a lot of the dialogue and the role-playing that i could do 
was in the front of the game, and it was a little hard for me to keep that up through dungeon crawling, since the game is so fast paced, it's difficult, it was difficult for me to comment on every monster that I came across. I tried, certainly. Uh, regarding role-playing at all, um, being a pensive person can be difficult to express, but when you can do it well, it is a joy. Um, um, I'm definitely... Uh, it, um, his personality and the way that it was expressed in the game um, was something that I am quite fond of, especially upon reflecting on it. So it's just very nice to me, and um, I do hope that it uh, is something that I will get to uh, experience more. I, I do actually want to play the rest of the series, so I'll be probably going on to Yeast 2 after a break. Of course, I'll probably do another game in between Yeast 1 and 2, just to give myself some breathing room. Especially from the last boss. You cannot say that that last boss was not frustrating. It's just not possible. There's no way that that wouldn't frustrate someone. So, definitely good idea to take a break. But, uh... But I have the save file to prove that I have beaten this game. And it's not like there were any cheats available. And I know, because I looked. Uh, just to see if, like, someone cheated their way through this game. There's not really any way to beat this game cheat-wise. There's no way to... There's no mod that I can find, that I could find, that could let you get through the last boss any easier. The only way that I improved my ability was by windowing it and, and increasing the frame rate so that I was as smooth as I could be um, and therefore had the best chance possible to beat him with all my facilities. So that's how I won in the end. So if you're having difficulty, that's the best thing I could recommend. There's no other cheats that I am aware of. If there is, you know, you can mention it if you want. But, um, it's not as fulfilling. This is far more fulfilling uh, to just beat the game and to say that you've beaten it. Um, I think it could have just been a tower game. It could have just been a dungeon, one dungeon game. But it wasn't. It actually had three dungeons. And in that sense, it's actually nice. It aged well. It's... And Adol only made it to level 10, so this is probably why he has such a long life. Because there's so many levels to go through, supposedly. Who knows? I don't know how... I don't know exactly what happens to Adol. After all, I haven't played these games, so... So we'll see how that works. But I hope you've enjoyed this game with me, and watching me... Watching the role-playing of Adol. And I, I plan to upgrade his personality as the games go on, because there will be more graphical enhancements, I'm assuming, to make that easier. So, this is my first one, I think. Yes, this is my first one, and I hope, hope to do many more of these. Um, this is the style that I prefer when playing a game and recording it. I'm not going to be, again, this is not a role-playing, this is not a walkthrough of the most efficient way, I certainly was not being efficient, um, to play the game. Because every game will be ultimately different, and that's what I want to capitalize on. Not, not the efficiency best way to play the game, but the unique way by which anyone can have played the game. So thank you for joining me for Let's Play Yeast 1, Ancient Yeast Vanished Omen. And see you later.